Welcome back to Let's Play the Evil Within. I'm Burning Dogface, and Sebastian is being chased by a giant woman mostly made of hands. Move it out, Castellanos! That's your question? Why she's so persistent? I yeah, might have even asked that the first time around, but... Oh! Yeah, no. Kind of reminded of the elevators from Dead Space for some reason, even though I don't feel safe. Oh, hell. Uh. Fuck it, just run! That worked out pretty well. I made it. I can't believe it. There were clearly four shells in the graphic there, but whatever. Oh, fuck me, that was unpleasant. <sighs> and we're running! I- you know what? Fuck it. I don't actually remember what happens if you try to go close to him. Ah! Uh... Oh, you just instantly die. They really want you to have a shotgun, I can only assume. And I can't blame them, Gladys is pretty rad. Eight thousand brain juice. I really need to find a save point. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to go through there, and he's still coming. Oh, okay. Well, it's been nice knowing you, Sebastian. Gravity is a lie. The more impossible things happen, the, uh... The more unsettling everything becomes. Chapter 5, Inner Recesses. It seems someone wants me hospitalized. I know, right? Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, March 2005. The bad news is that I've been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is that Myra said yes. But even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective and we're a good team. Crimson City needs more men like him on the force and it's an honor to be working with him. Sometimes it feels like bailing out a boat with a giant hole in the bottom. For every crime we solve, it seems that ten others are committed. The KCPD is a thin blue line protecting the populace from the criminals. 
But sometimes it seems like there's more of the latter than the former. No idea what that means. I don't even. Is that something that the nurse said? It's been a while since. Uh. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Investigation stalls in serial killer case. Co community cautiously optimistic. Citing lack of new leads, police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. No new missing persons, though. Would feel impolite to uh, kick a door here. This is a safe place, after all. My memory after this point is a lot fuzzier, for whatever reason. Okay, 2,500, 2,000, 10,000, 6,000, hmm. I think I might get both of these. You know what? Smell, smell burnt toast. thinking to myself that I should be using that more often. I just stick with the K I've got. Like I could upgrade some meaningless things with the guns, but I think for now I'm just gonna save up for like more run. Oh that's right, I got some keys too. Why does this door not work? Oh! Why does it work from this side, but not the other side? Huh. Well, aren't I embarrassed? I've got a key, anyway. Um... You. In that case... Now it works. What the? How long have you been there? And that fragment one. Ha 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 ha. One of the ones I missed. Very funny. That I did not know was there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, more run. I'm kind of holding off on getting uh, melee damage because, you know, it says increases a slight amount of damage. You're really not meant to be relying on melee attacks in this game. Look at that, spent all of my juice a reduce. <laughs> She's doing her nails. How much time 
minutes left on the timer anyway. Noted. <laughs> Chapter 5, Inner Recesses. Oh, this looks like a fun place. That's a good sign. Nothing in the sink. It's not even there. You can't open the door that's locked with barbed wire. I tried. I don't like this place, you guys. Man, the lighting here is fantastic, isn't it? You know, I was thinking about uh, a comic book I read. A storyline called Batman Cataclysm. It's from back in the 90s. Uh, about a bunch of events that happen after Gotham City is basically effed in the face by a uh, powerful earthquake. But there was a thing in that story about how uh, you know, there's a bit there where Batman is sort of paralyzed by despair because he's this guy who has dedicated his entire life for this sort of slightly insane uh, you know, crusade against crime to make Gotham City a better place. And now here's this natural disaster that he was totally powerless to prevent. Just wrecking the city worse than any of the villains ever did. And I can't help but wonder about that if uh, our boy Sebastian feels that way about Crimson City being destroyed in a terrible earthquake, and then the whole fucking world going crazy with torture zombies. See what it says right here in this first journal entry, Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. Just gonna check the, uh, new things. Weird that the uh, mental hospital isn't the first one. Chainsaw, the teeth of this old, well-worn chainsaw, are caked with all sorts of things. Yes, good. Uh, look to there. Good. I tapped my uh, controller against the desk as I adjusted my grip there. That's why he crouched and then stood up again. Are you re you're real! You're one of those invisible bastards! Like I said, I hate these things. I know I like to figure things out for myself in games, but seriously, if you guys know uh, tips or strategies on how to, you know, detect them, I am all ears. Wait, that's the way I came from. No, it isn't. I'm just losing my fucking mind, apparently. 
Still not convinced that this room doesn't contain a jump scare. What? Oh, no, it's just a shadow. That's the room with the dude who was crouching. Um. God damn it. I don't know. Uh, I've only got three minutes left, and this is the last video in the session, so. I kind of want to call it here, but, uh. Because. This might be the furthest save point I remember. What? Oh, no, these are the doors that open out this way. Fuck it. Whatever is the matter? You don't look What? Sorry, I interrupted you by doing this. Also, um the question about the letterboxing still stands. We've got a bunch of episodes that were with it, a bunch of episodes that were without it, so let me know in the comments whether you prefer it uh, with the bars at the top and bottom of the screen or without. What am I doing over here? I was actually going to check on the map. Hmm. What is that sound, anyway? Well... Uh, that'll about do it for this session of Let's Play The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time to continue exploring wherever the fuck this is. Assuming that any of this has really happened, happening, and that, uh, Sebastian isn't just losing his mind back in that tunnel with the good doctor and Leslie. <laughs> Later. Hey guys. Just for funsies, here's another clip of me failing to defeat the chainsaw guy from back in the village. All right. Now I'm going to go trigger this guy's encounter. I did save after I got that one. Damn it, Sebastian! I just want to see how this goes. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. I don't think that would work, realistically speaking. Okay, I'll go trigger you that way again. Oh my god, Sebastian, no!
Fuck it, I'm leaving that in anyway. So, that'll about do it. For reals this time, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within. Later!